All right, today I'm going to do a revisiting video, and uh, it is Iron Man Mark III and Iron Monger from King Arts. Uh, these came out uh, quite a while ago, and um, here are the boxes. I am uh, planning to sell these, so I figure I'll do one last video before I say goodbye to them. So there they are, there are the boxes. The Iron Monger is massive in comparison to the um, Mark III box. All right, so here are the two figures standing next to each other, and uh, you can see the Iron Monger towers over the Mark III. Uh, he's only up to his waist. Um, I guess it's pretty accurate to how he looked uh, in the film uh, in comparison with the Iron Man Mark III. So that's how big they are. All right, and here's Iron Monger again. And uh, before I go into that, uh, let's take a look at the accessories. Comes with uh, two boosters, uh, one on each side, and it looks like there's a connector right there. And then on the bottom, there are LED lights as well, so they do light up. And then we get these uh, uh, tools for switching out batteries and stuff like that, I believe. And then here are all the batteries, and I'm not going to use these anymore because uh, it looks like they started leaking. So let's get back to the Iron Monger first. So there it is, really nice, texturing, fantastic, and color, I think it looks really good. And I really like the, the next section where the collar piece is um, somewhat high to cover up part, uh, part of his uh, head there, which is more accurate than uh, some of the other companies uh, who made the uh, eye monger. So let me show you detailed look. Of the armor first and of course this thing does have light up features I think the eyes light up and the chest lights up and this figure does have metal uh, I think some of the joints are metal and um, I believe some of the the body structure is metal as well and back here on one side, you can see uh, the rockets does come out. And then on the other side is the battery compartment. And there are pistons on the top. Uh, the outer armor is pretty much all plastic. Uh, there are uh, bits and pieces that are uh, die cast, but not the armor itself. Alright, so let me mess with the Iron Monger a little bit just to see uh, how he is. Now, again, head is on a, uh, on a ball joint. Really good range, actually. Look at that. Every which way, the collar does not get in the way. He can look up and he can look down quite a bit, actually. Really good. Arms do extend out, and uh, not so much butterfly joint, no, no butterfly joint, but they do rotate, and the piston, you can see up here, I'm not sure whether you can see it or not, let me rotate down a little bit, when I move the arm, the piston does move along with it, and that's awesome, ooh, nice and tight too, the joints are still nice and tight, uh, the waist, let's see, goes side to side, but not so much front and back. Okay, and these two pieces does come down. Looks like it does come down. And this thing, I believe it can be moved or something. I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Looks like it can come down. Ooh, I guess it can open up then. Okay, nice. I totally forgot about this. So it can open up. Uh, but uh, of course you cannot put a figure in there, but it is nice to see the interior of this Iron Monger. So here's the interior, which is awesome. Let me refocus. There we go. It's awesome that you could see the, uh, the inside of this Iron Monger. Up on top, there's nothing, there's no opening, so the head will not be able to fit in there. It would have been nice if they hollow this uh, section out a little bit, uh, but I guess uh, that's where the ball joint is for the neck, so yeah, they wouldn't do that. But it is cool to see this portion. Oh. All 
right, so let me push this uh, thing back together. Let's see. So I close this thing back up. Oh, man, it does get in the way a little bit. Okay. Okay, right there. And then push this thing back down. Slideies. Okay, so I can feel it. There's uh, metal up here. This whole neck section is metal. It's awesome. And then these are spring loaded, these panels. So that is nice. Let's not break this thing. Because I do plan on selling this guy. Oops. Wait a minute. Something is off here. I think this is supposed to go underneath. There we go. That will fit a little bit better now. There we go. Okay, uh, let's go back to the arms. Zoom out a little bit. Okay, again, uh, ball hinge joint up here. And then uh, bicep does rotate. And the elbow. You can see the piston. It's moving in and out. And the wrist. It's on a ball joint. And then uh, individual finger movement here. There are only two points for the fingers. One is uh, right down here and then one right here so instead of a human finger where we have three one two three oh, one two three here it only has uh, two one two so yeah pretty cool still and then as for the torso again only side to side not much there's a rotation there no forward and back the legs are a little looser than I wanted to. Uh, these are on ball joints. You could kind of see it in there. And then uh, let's see, it does swivel here. The thigh does swivel. These pistons, uh, they don't tend to move. They don't move at all because uh, there's no actual spot for them to articulate. And then uh, let's see, as far as the knee is concerned, the piston does move. Same thing, really cool. And then the ankle, there's uh, quite a lot of stuff going on back here. So there's where you attach the booster, which is right here. And then the, the ankle, you can see it goes, no, it doesn't go forward and back, it goes side to side. And then the toe section go front and back. And then these are spring loaded on the bottom. And then same with these, the heel spur, uh, they move independently so that's kind of cool and same on this side of course all right and if you want to get the rocket to come out uh, of course you have to open up this panel first and then uh, up here this panel needs to be open as well so you open both of these panels right here and then I believe you just slide this upward there we go and then and then all the way up and then you should be able to rotate it somehow and there's a wire running through this too that's interesting I'm not sure why there would be a wire running through there is that it is that how far it will go let's see here so if I lower his arm a little bit like so Ooh, the rockets okay so it stays up here like so oh there's a targeting system up there I guess uh, it has it has a lighter feature on it there should be a red dot right there so here's a closer look at the rockets so, yeah so if he's looking towards uh, he's looking towards one side and then the rocket will be facing that section and like I mentioned the front there should be a red light I believe it's somewhere in there I'm not gonna put in batteries uh, for now so yeah but really cool though look at that that's a nice pose too just like that and let's take another gander at the back side here the rocket right there and then the wire running through it for the light and then here let me open up this panel down a little more so you guys can see the track that goes all the way down so to push it to push it back in, all you have to do is uh, reverse what you did. Just slide this thing all the way down, and there we go. And just close this panel back up. Right there, and then close this panel back up, which is right 
like so. I'll have to push it in later. But that's how it goes. Alright, here's a really nice looking pose now. Damn, I don't know whether I want to sell this now. Because he does look really, really good. Look at the way he's uh, posed right now. He looks fantastic just like that. Man, he doesn't even have to do much. Just the fact that he's looking towards the side a little bit. And then with the arms out, uh, spread his legs apart a little bit. Uh, you could definitely uh, give him a really, really fantastic looking pose for Iron Monger. Now, as far as the strength of the um, the figure itself, uh, the arms, let's see, it does tend to slope down a little bit uh, with the ball ball joint up there, again, uh, uh, attached to the torso, the arm, but it's still, st it will stay up, but I think uh, slowly it will probably come down over time, I'm not sure. But as of right now, it is still staying up. You can see uh, if you look at the um, the, uh, the 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 thumb section, it's at the edge of this video clip. So if I leave it like this, will it start moving towards uh, the bottom? I mean, will it come down? Not sure yet. So I'm just gonna leave it like that for a second while I talk. Um, so this figure, uh, I believe I purchased it for about. Three, it was either three sixty or three ninety nine. I'm not sure, because I see over at BBTS when uh, when they still had the listing, it was three ninety nine. So I I don't remember where I purchased this from. Uh, so yeah, so they had it for three ninety nine. So I, so that's what I'm gonna say. This thing is uh, three ninety nine. And uh, it looks like, let me take a look at the box to see when this thing was made. Uh, usually they have a they have a date on these things uh, when it was manufactured. Uh, on the back of the box, I don't see any uh, date on this. So I am not 100% sure when I purchased this. All right, so I just checked uh, the video that I made uh, back then. It was six years ago, so uh, I guess this is only a six-year-old uh, figure. Uh, it's still holding up as uh, as it did uh, the first day, uh, so no issues there whatsoever. And uh, so, if you're buying uh, King Arts figure off the uh, eBay or any secondary market, I think you should be pretty okay with it. Uh, if you do end up deciding to purchase something off a secondary market and it uh, looks like the the finger is still holding up so yeah it's not moving that's good uh, oh, but the legs the ball joints and legs are a little on the loose side uh, I think uh, when I first um, got it it was still this way it was uh, this way to begin with so uh, I don't think there are any issues with it but uh, yeah, no, as far as everything else, uh, it looks top notch to the point where it feels like when I first uh, purchased it. So, oops, no issues here or there. Everything still good. No cracks, nothing that I could see. So, yeah, that's Iron Monger. Yeah, so let me show you guys uh, Mark 3. Alright, so as far as Mark III, uh, you can see, take a look at all the accessories that this figure comes with. There's a bunch of them, there are shoulder rockets right there, a bunch of hands up on top. And then here, there's uh, this is a forearm rocket right there. And then on this side, same thing, forearm rocket. And then over here, the, um, the gauntlet shield. And then there's a plaque right there. Oh yeah, I'm surprised um, the Iron Monger does not come with the base. The uh, Mark III does come with the base, and then here are the batteries. There's the figure, and it uh, comes with, uh, let's see, one, two, two bendy wires. Uh, two bendy rods for him to pose. One, I guess, for flight, and one for standing. And then here's an empty space. Uh, this is where the poster is supposed to be. Uh, I believe that's an exclusive, so since I didn't purchase the exclusive, I didn't get that. But uh, if you remove the figure, let's see here, 
then down here, from this section, then you will see, uh, what is this? Oh, that's the back panel, the battery compartment panel. Is that rusting? Is that rust on the, on the screw right there? Wow, how can it rust like that? That is weird. Let me see if that's rust. Yeah, it is rust. Looks like, yeah, the metal does rust. So, so we gotta, we gotta do something to be mindful of. And I didn't even, I had it on display not too long ago too. Uh, and there's the base right there. And then the battery compartment right there uh, uses three AAA batteries. There. But man, I didn't even think the, the, the screw would rest like that. But I guess it did. And it's not like I display it either. See that at the top of that screw? It's got rust all over it. And this figure does come with articulated fingers, uh, hand as well. So kind of like Hot Toys where they have one hand with uh, fully articulated fingers. So this one does come with that. And then, uh, yeah, you saw earlier, I guess we have Repulsor Blast hands, of course. Can't go uh, uh, Iron Man without Repulsor Blast hand. So we have one of that. And then we have a kind of a gesture hand or gripping hand or intense hand. So yeah, comes with uh, a set of those as well. So let's take a look at the figure itself. Okay, let me set this down here. The ankles are not the strongest, I can tell you right now. Uh, now let's see, the likeness. Mm. Um, it is a little off. You could kind of already tell uh, from just straight on. You can see, uh, you're seeing too much of the chin section right here. And uh, the side, I think it should have been pulled out a little bit more. Uh, it could be, uh, it's not the, the angle I'm using either. So if I'm zoom in, I mean, yeah, no, uh, yeah, definitely it's a little off. These looks like it's too far out and then the top section, it's a little strange. But from this angle, it looks good. But just from straight on, you could tell it's a little off. The, the head sculpt is a little off. And then uh, let's see, yeah, again, the ankles are a little loose, looser than I wanted them to be. Uh, this figure is, let's see, there are metal pieces on here. Let's see, but they aren't, they aren't like really high quality metal either. It feels like a little thinner. Yeah, the chest is metal, uh, the shoulder section is metal, and then these two up here, no. The torso, nothing, and uh, those nothing. Then the thigh section, these are metal pieces. And then the uh, lower legs, yeah, this is all metal, wrapped around. Then nothing around the ankles uh, or the feet. Nothing around the forearms or even the arms at all. It's just the shoulder pads are. So as far as articulation, you can see his head does pop out quite easily. Um, it's just a uh, just a poorly designed uh, neck section. Just yeah, it's just it's not sinking in properly. Yeah, it's not. There's nothing broken on anything. Uh, you can see the socket joint is still intact, which is nice. It's just the way they sculpted uh, the ball joint. It just doesn't fit this too well. Now let's see here, the shoulders, I like these better uh, because I know some of the King Art stuff, uh, they use uh, spring. Uh, these are these are also spring but not, uh, not just spring on the shoulder uh, piece because I know some of the older King Art stuff, uh, you could see uh, the springs are completely exposed but these are not as slotted in uh, through the arm the shoulder section so that's good kind of like hot toys in a way and uh, here you can see let's see the ball joint for the shoulders oh it does uh, swing forward a little bit so there's a little bit of a butterfly joint right there I don't yeah yeah it's not really a butterfly joint it's just the way they um, 
sculpted this, kind of like how uh, a lot of the uh, SHF figures are, where they have a ball joint that's sunken in quite deep, and then the uh, the shaft section, uh, and then they use a little covering piece uh, to give it the illusion of a butterfly joint, but instead it just gives you a little more room to work with, so you can swing his arms uh, all the way around. And then bicep rotation, elbows. Oh, I'm surprised. Only 90 degrees? Yeah, it looks like they're. Oh, wait, can this arm be extended out or something? No, it cannot. I don't think so. So, wow, it can only do 90 degrees. I am surprised. And then uh, wrists on ball joint. Can the torso be push up? No, I don't think it can. So, yeah, it is a little limited there too. Can it extend? I don't think it can. So yeah, torso is also somewhat limited. Uh, let's see. I want to make sure I don't scratch this section either. So can the chest plate be removed? Yes. Wow, you can hear that. This is full on metal. Um, there's the chest. Be careful with these two sections when you're bending your figure. Make sure you don't overdo it and scratch the. Uh, the inner section right here and then I see these two panels can move out of the way a little bit and then this piece can move up same on the side allows the legs to have a little more room can these be lowered the legs cannot be lowered I don't think it can let me see oh I don't think so no it cannot so once you move these pieces up you get a little more room for the legs to go, but uh, that's pretty much it before you start scratching it. So yeah, a little limited as far as uh, a range of motion is concerned. Wow, so is the knee. Only 90 degrees, so yeah, it is somewhat limited. I mean, I could be wrong. I don't think I am. I don't want to force it either. Or maybe I should look at the instruction to see if any parts are where they could be pulled down or anything like that. But from what I could tell, it cannot. So can these come out? No, these cannot come out either. Flares does not come out. So it is somewhat limited as far as uh, range of motion for this guy. Yeah. Oh, Phi does have a swivel there piece right there so it is a nice looking Iron Man I have to say it is nice looking and from the back of course there are flaps that opens up like that on both sides and then I would imagine batteries are housed in the center right here yep right there there's where the batteries will go push this thing back in there oops needs to go down. So I can push that in. There we go. So yeah, flaps. Okay, I just checked the instructions and uh, the legs can be lowered. You can see there are two notches where it could be lowered. Uh, push that one up and then two. Yeah, so it can give you quite a lot of range actually. Oh, actually, oh, actually there are three notches that it could come down. So move those out of the way and then you can swing those legs all the way up and over for him to do the landing pose, I guess, if you so choose to. And what about torso? Torso, not so much. It didn't say you could extend the torso section. So it is going to be limited, and uh, he can't really look up either. The fact that uh, this piece does pop out quite easily. So yeah, um, doing a landing pose would not be a good boom. Well, he will not be able to do a good landing pose. But uh, good to know that he does have extended legs. Whoops. There's a metal piece right there. There's the back of the calf right there. So this just sits on here. Oh, there are no panels that opens up or anything like that. So it's just a piece that you pull apart in order to see the, um, the inner workings of the legs. So yeah, right there. Yeah, so these two pieces are metal, and then the front portion is also metal. 
yeah. And again, here are the two figures. And um, yeah, overall, these two figures are fantastic. I'm very happy uh, that I have these. Uh, so right now, at the moment, I don't think I will sell it because uh, they are really, they're still really, really fantastic. And I do like them a lot. And just to, the fact that, look at just the way these two are standing right now makes it so nice of a display piece. So yeah. So I think uh, for now, I'm going to keep them. Uh, I know this guy is going for quite a bit on eBay, on the secondary market. I'm not sure about the Mark III. I haven't, I haven't looked, but I have seen uh, this one go really high. Um, but uh, for now, I think I'm going to keep it. And uh, if I do end up selling, I will probably put it on eBay as well. But uh, yeah, there you go. There's a revisiting of uh, Mark III and I'm Monger. And overall, I think the joints are perfect as uh, as they were uh, for a for a figure that came out six years ago. I think the, everything's still going strong with these guys and um, no cracks or anything that I could see. Uh, usually with the socket joints, sometimes uh, if they are too, too tight, then uh, they tend to crack. But uh, I didn't see it uh, with these guys, so yeah, I'm happy about that. And uh, yeah, so there you go. Paint jobs are nice, no chipping or anything like that that I could see either. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, anything else I need to mention? Um, yeah, nothing really. I know the light-up features uh, still work um, because I have taken the batteries out, so I don't leave them in there just, just so they don't leak. Because uh, with these things, uh, they always tend to leak uh, if they're using cheap batteries, which I think uh, most of these figures are. Uh, so yeah, so there you go. There's uh, Ironmonger and Mark III from King Arts. Thanks for watching.